Welcome back. Today it finally happens that we're going to talk about the electronics of the tool post grinder, which is a ESC controller. Um, if you look it up on the internet, it, it's called VESC. I put a link down in the description. Um, it's used by the, by the skateboard community. They uh, uh, they use it for electric skateboards. And this thing is capable of 50 amps at uh, probably about 60 volts or so. We have already one hooked up here. And uh, let's spin our tool post grinder. Uh, I'll show the software later because it's all you can control it by an input of the like a server input. You can also um, control it by software whatever you want. Uh, there are various different ways of um, doing that. Alright, let's spin that. Uh, the motor isn't actually tuned to that ESC, but uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, we got it running. On these ESCs there is a difference between electrical RPM and mechanical RPM, so what we're going to do is just trying to figure out what the ratio is. I think it's an 8 pull motor. No, it's not going to work with that one. So that's 450 for 3000. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's a 16 pole motor, so it's 8. So if I go for 4000, I should see 500 RPM. Ish. No, a bit more. It's about 550. That's fine. All right. So we know our ratio is about eight. This should give us around 1,000 RPM. Which is 1100, that's fine. Okay, so so that's about that's about 5000 RPM. Um, that's 10,000. I'm going to do some balancing. I know the motor has a little bit of run out. You can see it. I think it's a sticker on the motor. That was a full stop. Okay, that's our software here. Yeah? Um, the link is on the website as well. So, that's our electrical RPM 10,000 equals divided by 8. Uh, 1100, 1200 RPM, so if we go to 80,000, which is about 10,000 RPM, it just goes there straight away. Uh, power supply had an over voltage shutdown because the if you brake too fast, the, the thing is actually. Uh, regenerating into the power supply and that power supply just is a bit too twitchy it doesn't like that so we're gonna tell it again what we want um, we want about 15 volts and we want a lot of current so our current limit is 20 amps at the moment and the voltage is 16 volts. I think it runs down to about 11 or so. Alright, let's crank that up again. Connect first. And then just... Here we are. So that's, that's current mode, so if I... If I allow a particular current, 
not really interesting for what we're doing, but uh, it's a nice feature actually. So we're drawing about four amp motor current. Sorry, the the auto zoom function on that thing is a bit weird. So. Now we just reversed it. And now we stop. Okay, so everything could be done by software here. Uh, you can also use the input of that servo thing. I'm just gonna try that now. So we just used one of these little servo testers and uh, just runs up and down. Going. That's about 75,000 electrical, that's 10, 000, almost 10,000 RPM. And that's our low load consumption. And we just turn that down. We can also reverse it easily. We just need to be careful with the speed of the reversing because otherwise my power is quite good. Okay. So Look at the graph. Let's just go in the other direction. So, hope that was of some use for someone. Just gonna turn that power supply off because it's too so noisy. Um, but I like it. It's uh, very capable. The only problem I had when I brake too fast, it re it's regenerating into the power supply and then um, it goes into over voltage, as it is supposed to do. So <clears throat> that should conclude the setup for the tool post grinder. Again, we use a electronic speed controller which is used for electric skateboards or model boats or airplanes or whatever. Uh, to make it simple you can use one of these servo testers and you just set your speed. Um, you can set all your limits in the, in the software here. I'll put a link for the software down in the description as well. Um, there is a motor tune function and lots of stuff. Um, yeah, it basically it basically works out of the box. All you need to do is whatever motor you got, set your motor limits here, uh, max RPM and uh, max current. Uh, that's about it. And there is an auto tune function as well. The auto tune should be done with nothing attached, so the bare motor. Uh, otherwise, it may run out of. Uh, current because you only allow a specific current here just to make sure you're not cooking your motor so if you buy a motor f buy it from a source where you actually get some information about a motor other otherwise it's probably a bit tricky if you have not done this so many times um, yeah if you if you buy a motor buy it from a source which can tell you what it is um, you can get a motor going with a bit of knowledge, but it's it's tedious, it's laborious. Uh, you need to figure out how far you can go and things like that. Just get a motor with known data, type the numbers in and uh, run it. It runs fine. Alright. Uh, I'll build another rig using a similar motor, just a bit faster. It goes up to about 30,000 RPM. That motor was actually supposed to be used on the smaller tool post grinder, but um, I had to do this one first. Uh, may maybe I'd just buy another one. All right. That should have been enough uh, from the electrical side of the tool post grinder. Any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. And uh, if 
if I can find the time I will make the smaller one as promised but that should conclude at least this series of that tool post grinder because now we covered the electronics I have another section of videos about the balancing but uh, I'm not entirely sure if I can find the time to put that up it was basically just figuring out what's the vibration and I think the motor shaft is not 100% straight or it's maybe just a sticker on the motor I don't know at certain speeds it's uh, it's a bit noisy but at the end of the day it doesn't matter the spindle runs through if you wire these things up use appropriate wire because there might be some 10 20 amps fl flowing into that thing so just make sure you, you're not cooking anything same with the connectors if you use cheap ones they they're getting hot so I use just the standard bullet connectors but they, they're getting a little bit warm yeah okay that should be it for today thanks for watching thanks for subscribing until next time